uh, now we have the unit tangent vector and uh, uh, unit normal vector. Now we start the freeness frame. Now we have the unit normal vector, uh, unit tangent vector, and the unit normal vector. We need another another vector that uh, independent of these two vectors to span or space. So we use uh, we uh, use the cross product to find the find on the the the, the uh, the left, the, the, the only one vector that left, we call this by normal vector. The by normal vector B is T cross N. So if there is uh, there's a unit tangent vector t and a unit normal vector n. There's the last one as unit vector b. Then uh, in a uh, small in a small uh, in uh, in a small region, this. These three uh, vectors can determine a three-dimensional coordinate system. We call this this coordinates like that as freeness frame. That is T and B. As freeness frame. Okay, if if uh, if a uh, curve is planar curve, planar curve, the B is a uh, constant. B is a uh, is a constant vector. Actually, is zero zero one. That or or just equals k in x y plane. Any curve, any curve has unit tangent vector and normal vector on this plane, and uh, the long the the Bilomal vector is the same if we move them uh, move them to the same start point. They should always point upward. But if the curve is twisted, is twisted, like from this point, is twisted, then its bilomal vector changes uh, because. Uh, here, here is the unit tangent vector, that's unit uh, normal vector, and then the the unit uh, by normal vector is here. So we move we move it to the same start point at R S. Then they have the difference. This difference measures how much the space curve twisted from the oscillating plane. We call the oscillating plane. That is, uh, that is a plane spent by T. And uh, n. If the space, if the curve is uh, a plane curve, uh, the d b d t, that is difference between uh, uh, between 
the uh, biloma vector in, uh, nearby to to the uh, to the biloma vector at this point. So if uh, R S is a plane curve. dB dt equals the limit of uh, ds delta s tends to zero. That's b uh, s plus delta s minus b s over delta s should be zero because these two are the same. So if t is twisted, there's there's a, uh, there's a, the, the, the derivative does not equal zero. We call uh, these two this this uh, the dB dS measure measure the twisting uh, the, the the home uh, the degree of the degree of twisting of that curve at this point. So we define the uh, define define the concept of torsion. The torsion is defined as db dt, uh, ds as db ds as negative tau s times n. Uh, we defined uh, that's negative tau s times n. Because b is t cross product uh, uh, n, so db dt is always uh, the, the same, the, the, the parallel to n. D B D S is always parallel to n, so we uh, we call this the negative to s. That D D S that's T times n. That's D T D S cross n plus uh, T cross D n ds dt ds that is k s n cross n plus t times d n ds because n is uh, has a constant length so d n ds d n ds should uh, perpendicular to n. This first is n and cross n is zero. And uh, uh, d n d s is perpendicular to n. So we can write as d n d s as uh, lambda s times t plus mu s times uh, times b because it's perpendicular to n, so it must uh, uh, on the plane spanned by n, uh, t and b. And uh, here's t cross d and ds. So we only have mu s, mu s, and then and t cross b. T cross B that is negative. That is negative n. So here mu s equals to s. So that's the torsion. Be because the dBDS is always parallel to n. So we a uh, Actually, actually,
dbds, the length of dbds is actually the tall s. We only use the uh, maybe that's the negative sign to uh, to measure to measure the direction of dbds. Now we still use the helix to find the bilomer and uh, and the torsion. Rs Rs that is equals a s square root a square plus b square uh, cosine s over square root a square plus b square i plus a over square root a square plus b square sine s over square root a square plus b square uh, g and uh, plus b s over square root a square plus b square okay find it's bioma vector and torsion so we know that the ts the ts is negative a over square root a square plus b square sine s over square root a square plus b square i uh, plus a over square root a square plus b square cosine s over square root a square plus b square j plus b over square root a square plus b square k and uh, the loma vector the loma vector is negative uh, cosine s over square root a square plus b square i and uh, uh, the other part the other coordinate is sine s over square root a square plus b square and J has no K. So B S that is T S cross N S that is I J K T S is negative A over square root A square plus B square as sine s over square root a square plus b square uh, a over square root a square plus b square uh, cosine s over square root a square plus b square and of k that is b over square root a square plus b square for loma vector as negative cosine s over square root a square plus b square as negative sine s over square root a square plus b square that's zero then uh, from i that's uh, as uh, square root a square plus b square as long letter as b and the sign s over square root a square plus b square that's i for j as uh, a over square root a square plus b square that's cosine cosine square uh, for j oh j I, I uh, delete the the first row and the second column. We got that's not A, that's B. 
that's B. Mm, that's B. Uh, cosine s over square root a square plus b square and for k for k as sine square negative sine square uh, negative, there's another negative sign here so sine square plus cosine square that's a over square root a square plus b square that's k Yes, uh, that's the BS. That's BS. So DB, DS, that is B over A square plus B square cosine S over square root A square plus B square minus, uh, that's plus because that's cosine, take the derivative is negative sign. So that is b over a square plus b square sine s over square root a square plus b square. And there's no k. That is b over a square plus b square as negative because the uh, lomba vector is negative cosine s over square root a square plus b square mm, i minus sine s over square root a square plus b square uh, g so that is negative b over a square plus b square as n so the tall s that is b over a square plus b square that's the torsion find the torsion here okay the last the last definition or concept is free that's Fourier so formula. Fourier's formula. Now we have d uh, d t d s that is k s times n and uh, d b d s we have negative tall s times n and then what is d n d s what is d n d s because because t n b uh, that is right hand right hand principle so we find that n equals b cross t the right uh, the right hand principle uh, the first one cross the second one becomes the third one and the second one cross the third one becomes the first one. That's the third one cross the first one as the second one. So dn ds, that is db ds cross t plus b cross dt ds. The db ds, that is negative tall s n cross t. And the dt ds, that is k s times n. 
So we have a negative two s. The so n times t is negative b plus uh, k s uh, b cross n. That is negative t. N cross b is t, and b cross n is negative t. So that is uh, k s times t and uh, uh, negative k s times t plus tau s times b. Uh, multiply b. So we have the Fresnel uh, formula. Uh, dt ds dt ds is k s times n and the dn ds that is negative k s times t plus tau s times b and the d b ds that is uh, negative tau s times n. Or we can write as as a uh, uh, dt ds, we can write as the dot here, dn ds, because it's ds. Or we can write as a uh, uh, matrix, matrix equation. K S and zero tau S zero negative tau S zero mm, here's a T N B as a Fresnel uh, Fresnel uh, formula. Uh, that means uh, uh, in the small uh, in the small uh, uh, region in the small region around Rs, any other any other vectors can be represent uh, represented by these three vectors. That that means the the t uh, t n and b. Uh, uh, T N and B uh, establish the all three dimensional coordinates near R S. Okay, that's the uh, Fresnel formula and the Fresnel uh, frame.